How's it going everybody and welcome to another Excel application. I thought I'd carry on with the previous theme for tax. I think tax is quite an important part of your everyday life and I think we as people need to understand how it works and the various aspects of the different tax rules. Um, another one apart from income tax, which I did previously, is the VAT calculation for companies registered Oh, that's spelled incorrectly. There we go. Registered for VAT. All right. These would be VAT vendors. And in South Africa, for instance, you'd pay 14% VAT on certain goods and services. And some goods and services are zero rated. And uh, let's get into it. Let me first show you how to do a link to another page. So you'll go to insert. You'll go to hyperlink. And you will say somewhere in this document. And we want to go to the Calc tab over here, which is this one tab over here. And you say, OK, now this this cell will be our link to the next tab. If you want it to look like the others and not be underlined, just go underline and you make it the same color as the other one. However, it still maintains that link. Click it and we go to our next tab. All right. So in this specific example, we have a farmer who is providing pineapples, for instance, to a canning factory, and the canning factory provides cans of pineapples to a supermarket, and the supermarket provides them to the final customer. All right, a customer is not a VAT vendor. They will literally pay the price that's charged from the supermarket, and that will be the end of it. So there's no input VAT or output VAT. Input VAT and output that let's be consistent with our naming here right so the first thing first all right a farmer will produce the pineapples a farmer is, is a zero rated a farmer who produces fresh fruit is a zero rated item so they will not pay any vat on what they produce. This is to help them promote their uh, their business and to um, stimulate their income. And uh, yeah, so pretty much they don't pay any VAT on their produce. This is, however, limited to 1.5 million rands worth of revenue a year. So if you go over that, a farmer will be uh, registered for VAT. The farmer will then sell 20 units to a canning factory. A canning factory has to get canning metal, for instance. In this example, they'll get canning metal. They'll buy that from a metal factory. They'll buy 20 units at one rent per unit. However, the canning factory will charge them 14% VAT. All right? So this will be one rand plus 14% times 20%. And that is what this formula aims to achieve. Therefore, the total for canning metal is 22 rand 80. However, the base price was 20 Rand. Therefore, the input tax that the canning factory has now paid is 2 Rand 80. The input tax, remember, is the tax that the canning factory will pay to the previous step in the cycle. Not the farmer, in this instance, the canning metal factory, which I don't have here. But you can understand what that means. All right. Then what happens is the canning factory will go on to sell 20 units of pineapples. And they'll, they'll sell them for 2 Rand, all right? Now, this is a margin of, see, we've got 1 Rand 14 here, all right? 1 Rand 14, and we're now selling it for 2 Rand. However, the canning factory have to add VAT on this as well, because that's what value added tax is. So they'll sell something, and because they were a VAT vendor, they have to add 14% tax, all right? This formula over here shows you what that is. So we're selling them for 2 Rand each at 14 Rand, if we've got 28 cents VAT times 20 units, and we've got an and we've got ourselves five rand sixty worth of VAT, okay? And that's our output tax. Our output tax is what the person we are selling it to is going to pay. All right, and we'll get to their input tax now. The net VAT in this circumstance is the output tax minus the input tax. And we've got our 2 Rand 80, which is paid to the South African Revenue Service. Okay, we then move on to the supermarket. 
all right the supermarket their input tax is what they paid to the canning factory to purchase their units all right the units of pineapple they are, however are only going to sell 15 units for instance and they're going to sell them at three rand okay now three rand the vat paid on that is 42 cents we can work that out quickly this is 14 percent okay it equals this multiplied by 14 and we get 42 cents exactly okay so each unit is three rand they're going to be paying 42 cents the total selling price is 45 rand for 15 units now the amount of VAT that they're going to pay is 42 times 15 over here which is demonstrated by this formula 42 cents times 15 and that will give them their output tax remember this is the the tax that they are paying out this is the tax that they're paying backwards okay it's the easy way to remember input tax is what they purchase from the previous cycle and output tax is what they're going to pay forward for this case to the customer however the net VAT is always the output tax minus the input tax and that's 70 cents remember on the bottom here we've got our two rand 80 for the canning factory our 70 cents for the supermarket and the total is three rand 50 that is the total amount for the cycle that will pay, be paid to SARS remember the customer will only purchase the pineapples at their price of three rand 42 they are not VAT vendors so they won't be paying any VAT input or output VAT all right guys um, thank you very much for listening to this I hope you find it interesting and uh, please leave me any questions in the comment section thank you very much cheers